Hello, today I'm going to show casing another gym strategy, and this one is for the Super Brittle. So the Super Brittle is a pretty cool tower. It's a another tier 5 support tower, particularly a debuff tower. So it's kind of like the, um, the Glue Storm and Cripple Mob. But this one does plus 5 damage, which is a lot, and I'm going to be showing you how to use it. So for starters, it's a, like a debuff tower, so we're going to be using tower that shoots really fast, lots of project, lots of projectiles, but low damage, because that's how we get the most out of it. So I'm going to be starting with the Embrittlement, the Alchemist, and the Overdrive, because that's all towers that we will be using later on. And for this one, I am going to be showcasing it with a bunch of Overdrives and Primary Expertise, because that's going to be a really effective strategy. It's a lot of projectiles, high pierce, which is also pretty good, but low damage, and the super riddle will ramp up that damage to make it really, really, really strong. Um, alternatively, you could do sun avatars, you could also do like a few other towers, just anything that shoots really fast. And for the hero, if you want to enhance it even more, you could use Pat Fustier Gwen to buff it up even more and get more insane attacks. So, I am going to get about three overdrives and an alchemist that will deal with the mobs just fine and they'll get some pierce so like this boomerang for example to deal with 63 and that will allow us to go straight into the super brittle ideally we get it before 80 i got it before 74 which is pretty nice and now it is time to get a balloon impact just so that we can stun the ceramics a bit that are trying to get by then i will get primary expertise this will allow us to deal with the ceramics pretty well and it will um, it will give the attacks a lot more pierce so they can do a lot more damage. For DDTs, we have the Super Riddle, which is the MIB skip. So we don't need MIB, which is pretty cool. But I am going to need some Sabos to slow down the DDTs so they actually all get the debuff and the attacks can kill them. Other than that, we're pretty good. I have the M Glue too, so we can slow everything down. But just Sabo like these DDTs and it will be chill. If you want, you can go a bit further and get a tax zone on one of the attacks, which will do quite a lot of damage. But instead, I am going to save a bit of money uh, just to show that it's possible to do it without. And I also get a Shattering Shells for 98, and I'm going to beat this with like $32,000 left over. Anyways, bye!